Runic Rampage is this top-down hack-and-slash action RPG where you play as a really, really greedy dwarf. I mean, in-universe he's apparently destroying all these cultures and looting their valuables on his way to save his people from the plague, but really the murdering and gold grubbing seems to be the main appeal. The game is simple, but its gorgeous user interface, addictive gameplay loop, and heavy combat feedback give it long legs. Our dwarven hero is given basic combos, all with distinctive utilities, Marvel Ultimate Alliance style. We've got a stunning area attack, an uppercut to knock enemies away, a heavy attack, and a dashing strike. All of them are performed with some simple combination of the dodge and attack buttons, and choosing the right combo at the right moment in the heat of battle is the core challenge, particularly because each attack takes such a deliberate amount of time. It's an engaging, rewarding experience that encourages quick thinking and strategizing in equal measure. I love it. The enemy types aren't terribly varied, but there are enough of them in just enough configurations to keep things interesting as you explore each of the game's eight locales. It is possible to sprint past all the enemies until you reach a mandatory blockade, but that's a skill in itself, and one of the achievements expects that sort of shenaniganry from the player. The boss fights are also highly creative and cleverly designed to exploit the nuances of the combat and movement systems, encouraging the player to hit and run, occasionally trading blows before retreating to cover or reorient themselves. Sounds like this was a home run, right? Well, uh, nearly. You see, Runic Rampage advertises itself as an action RPG. That's undeniable. It's right there on the store page title, and there's a giant upgrade button in the main menu. Balancing stats, weapons, and looting is part of the central gameplay loop. You beat a level, loot a chest, use that loot to make yourself better. But it's not so straightforward. The stats matter very, very little. I ran a few experiments, and with maxed out damage, plus an axe that adds another 10 power, enemies take around two fewer hits on average? Two. That's unacceptable, and it makes the time I spent investing into my character build feel utterly wasted. The developer readily admits this was a balancing choice, but I think it was the wrong one. Runic Rampage is a great hack and slash, but a poor RPG, and folks familiar with action RPGs will likely notice right away that something isn't quite right. I want to recommend Runic Rampage for being a good game, but it feels a bit steeped in dishonesty. Make up your own mind about that, I suppose.